I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I apply Regina's body paint. I sometimes think this might be the most detailed character in comics. It's nothing I'm really proud of. It takes a ton of work. But if somebody has a character with tattoos or something, um, I'm going to show you my method for not having to redraw them every time, which is how we used to do things and took forever. This is from Bloom number three, and we're starting with this wonderfully illustrated image by the great Butch Mappa. I have been so honored to be working with Butch on this. What I did is I made a master layer for like, so this is her left leg, and it sort of repeats, so I can go front to back. This is the, you know, where her foot would be. This is her upper thigh. This would be her right leg. Um, this is her torso, so like this is sort of her chest area, and then it goes all the way to her back, and then I also, it, it repeats. So depending on how she's turned, I can use any part of this. Uh, then there's the right arm, here's the left arm. So I'm going to take this image here. Because this does not have her legs, I'm, I made another one that's just this right here is the upper body. So it's just got the torso, right arm, and left arm. And it's just this folder. And what I'll do is I'll just turn on the torso level and I'm just gonna drag it onto this image here. So now, let me um, disable this layer mask. Okay, so now you can see it's gigantic. I, I made it much bigger than I would ever need. So this is a folder, upper body here. And while that is up, I am going to command T, I'm going to resize it. And what's nice about doing the whole folder is it's also going to size the arms. Um, so they'll generally be the right size. Now let's see. And let's see, I get it right about. Let's try right about there that's about the right size she's got this curve that we're gonna have to figure out in a minute okay so I hit enter there's my torso the right arm which is obviously in the wrong place the left arm wrong place but let's just deal with the torso for starters and I'm just gonna move that so you know in fact what I'm gonna do here is get the the waist area correct and if I maybe make this a little bigger, easier to see. So I'm gonna shrink that a little bit. And it's actually the waist is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna drop that there. And now I'm going to select this top area and try to, so I, I selected it with, let me get my tools on in the view. I selected it with the lasso tool and now holding down command, I'm on a Mac, I can move that independent of the other part. And if I hit command T, then I can also rotate it. So I'll get it sort of right there. And I can also hit my wand tool, which is this right here. And that will allow me to select a specific symbol or, or, or paint and we'll go ahead and grab that one and move it a little closer to the neck where it ought to be and that's good okay so that's pretty close but obviously we've got this problem where it's going over her costume and everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click if you look at my layers over here I'm gonna click the, the character uh, so these this is the area the flats are and I'm gonna wand the skin areas where I want this particular body paint to show up. And I'm going to hit the mask tool. So if you look at my layers, I'm down here. I'm going to hit the mask. Not there. On the torso. Boom. So now it's only on the skin. But there is a problem. So right down here, you see her right hand that one I'm going to have to manually erase. So on my mask, you know, if you're not familiar with masks, they're the most wonderful thing ever. To add a mask to a channel is here. And 
anything that I paint black will disappear. So I'm going to come over here and use my brush tool. I'm going to paint black and, and I make sure now if I look back at my layers, not this, this is what's selected and I'm going to paint on her hand and you can see that it just uh, disappears. And what's great about masks, so, so right there you see I kind of got, I actually took some of what I didn't want. If I hit X, it'll just switch between the black and the white, and now I can paint it back on. So it's non-destructive, which is kind of everything. I, if you're doing photo editing or whatever, you, you don't want to be doing this lasso thing where you're making destructive edits that you can't go back. This is always in play. That's pretty solid there. And now we've got this bent arm. So let's look at, I'm going to turn on this back to my um, upper body. I'm going to left arm. Okay, we're going to move that. So bent arms are a pain in the rear because it means I'm going to have to apply this twice because I have this mask built, or I'm sorry, this, this, this map of symbols. It's sort of built as a straight arm but that's okay all right so i like where that's positioned so i'm going to hit enter and now i've got to find a way to turn this area and sometimes this is not the the smoothest thing to do and in fact for this just be, to make it nice and clear i'm actually just going to double this layer so i'm going to take the left arm layer here i'm going to drag it to the plus and now we've got two of them i'm going to turn off the one so i'm going to just deal with this uh, bicep tricep area and we're going to um, do that same trick where I highlight the arm so we've highlighted the skin area and I'm going to now select the left arm and now I hit the mask button boom we've got this going on and some of these do overlap so I will have to remove that and again instead of erasing I'm just going to select my mask and I'm gonna paint with black to get rid of that extra right there and this actually doesn't look too bad up in the, the forearm but it's not accurate to what's going on so I'm gonna erase that too and then I'm going to turn on our second left arm. I'm going to turn it. And let's find a nice, maybe make this one a little smaller. I think it's gotten a little big for some reason. So maybe get it right there. Right there looks nice. And now I am just going to select that skin level again right there left arm gonna pop on so while it's highlighted if I hit the mask it's gonna mask it's gonna only show what's highlighted so there we go and did we get some bad tangencies so yeah so it, it created some stuff over here that I will also erase um, she's also got some eye makeup and with this I just draw this on because it's a whole lot easier than trying to line that one up because it's a very specific thing and then she's got the little bug design here Yeah, I don't like that one. All right, I just just trying to keep them consistent. All right, and that is how it's done. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment, and I'll, I will try to help you out. And let's just do a quick check in on the campaign. Bloom is live right now, and it's going till August first. It's a story of a comic book artist, aspiring comic book artist, who uh, meets a dancer at a festival, asks her to pose as his muse, and they go out into the woods for a photo shoot, and she um, takes it to um, a hyper level of reality. 
So yeah, uh, please check out Bloom on Kickstarter and uh, thanks so much for checking it out.